Hey everyone, Ambazar here, and like you know, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't really have an intro this time around. We're doing more Tell Your Tale. So this one starts off with Izzy screaming. Boy, this sure reminds me of something. What is Izzy saying here? Is that a unicorn battle cry? Or did she just like stub her hoof and forget how to English temporarily? Who does Tell Your Tale think it is? How dare you show Izzy being set? We should never have to see Izzy being set. This reminds me of that picture of Izzy that's going around on Twitter and I don't like it. So Izzy wants another unicorn friend? Do we consider this a win for people who wanted another main six instead of a main five? I wonder if this is how Rarity felt after Twilight got her wings. Wait, 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 time out. So Izzy made a fake pony out of junk instead of, I don't know, actually going and talking to a real unicorn? There are other unicorns in Maritime Bay, right? Is... Is Izzy actually insane? Is this gonna be Izzy's version of Party of One? Think about it. Left unread by her friends, talking to inanimate objects. Her hair goes straight, it's going in the books. Wait, they gave Trotimus Prime actual lines? You know what, this series is amazing. 10 out of 10, I don't care. I really wish they'd actually gotten Peter Cole. Please get Peter Cole on as the voice of Optimus Prime Pony in the Netflix series. I don't care what it takes. Hold up, Izzy's the one controlling Senior Butterscotch, right? Does that mean she's just using him to be a jerk to Posey? Honestly, that's fair. Does that mean the entire town's gonna end up hating him? Is this gonna be like that episode of Spongebob with Bubble Buddy? Well, at least we know everybody else thinks the puppet thing is weird. Now are y'all actually gonna do something about it? So TUES Day is literally just a unicorn holiday. They called it that for no reason. Here, I thought G4 had some dumb holiday names. Man, those are some fat looking pancakes. Great, now I want pancakes. How is a show with this kind of animation making me hungry? Did you see Izzy take a bite out of those pancakes and then put them back on the stack? That is a perfectly good waste of pancakes. I've hurt people for less. The next time I see Izzy, it's on site. Wait, the magical raccoons are gonna stab the rat bird with a pitchfork? This episode is wild. That is a certified hood rat moment. Get it? Because it's a rat with... Wait. I'm sorry. Oh no. Sonny's upset because nobody ate her pancakes. Y'all remember the last time this happened, right? Izzy really just recorded herself screaming and sent that back as a reply to a text? Maybe I should start doing that with my friends. Hmm. Hmm? Ambie texted me? Wow, everyone forgot about Sunny's hike and she got over it just like that? Well, she certainly has the forgiveness part of being an equestrian leader down. One of my friends forgot to meet me at the movies like one time and I blocked him on Facebook for like a month. So, creepy forest, going camping, everybody's scared. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting flashbacks to something. Wait, that face Hitch is making. I've seen it before. But where? I got it! So now everybody's chasing each other in the forest without them realizing? So this episode basically just turned into Castlemania. They even had the back into each other and freak out scene. Is it technically possible for My Little Pony to steal from itself? Instead of Sunday dinners, we have sunny day dinners. <laughs> Pip, I'll have you know I'm the only one who makes jokes that dumb around here. And yes, they named the entire episode after that one line. i just like to take the time to point out how poetic this opening shot is. Because what is Posey except one giant red flag? I gotta say, it's pretty impressive that they made a pony tower like that. I can only do that in Team Fortress 2. That's probably where they learned how to do it too. They do have a gamer horse in the pile. Wait, did she say Ponygram? That's what they call their social media? I'm still not used to ponies having technology like this. Can we just go back to G4 when turntables and speakers were the height of pony innovation? So Hitch does embarrassing things on the internet and then refuses to regret them later. I think I might have found my most relatable character of all time. Oh, no, 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 you better stop with it. Izzy does not need internet access. She can't see the things we've seen. Izzy deleted the entire video project? This really is the most relatable episode. Thankfully, I haven't done anything like that. Video file deleted. Wait, no, 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 no. Hey, how come my friends have never brought me giant smoothies when I'm upset? My friends are fake, man. I don't care if they all live hundreds of miles away from me. That's no excuse. DoorDash exists. All jokes aside, I really like how this failed cheer up scene was handled. Pip appreciated that they tried, but it didn't magically fix everything. Sometimes it takes more than apologies to make everything better. Did Pip make that castle out of bread? I worked at Subway for three years and she surpassed even my capabilities. Now make one out of glue. 
Okay, I completely take back what I said earlier. If you can recreate an entire festival in your backyard, then you are forgiven for whatever screw-ups you may have caused. I think this is scientifically known as the Phineas and Fur principle. Are they reusing the main melody song? Kinda sus, but I'll forgive it since that moment between Pip and her friends is really sweet. Why do we get the feeling that's not the last time we're gonna hear this song? Alright, starting this one off classy with a Frankenstein reference. Frankenstallion? Oh, I'm sorry. Frankenstallion's a monster. Glad they got that one right so I don't have to get the internet whine about it. Did you see the way Zip took that popcorn? Disrespectful. I don't care if you thought I stole your sunglasses or not. You take my food like that and I'm taking an organ you don't need. Zip had them take mug shots? Zip is so extra and I love it. Let's be honest, Zip is best character when it comes to Tell Your Tale at this point. She made an investigation board too, so this is gonna be another mystery type episode. Oh, please tell me the cute animals did it again. Honestly, I don't blame Zip for accusing Hitch first. Dude looks like he loves sunglasses more than I'll probably love my future children. I really like how it feels like Zip is bullying Pip for her height here. If you're the short one in the friend group, you get bullied. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Now hold on, I gotta text my short friend and call him an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> hold up, Sonny. Where did those sun glasses come from? Did they just, like, teleport on your face? That makes no sense. Wait a minute. Izzy used her magic to throw a bunch of papers at Zip? Can you imagine the paper cuts? I feel like that's bordering on a war crime. <laughs> hey look, Zip evolved into Palisand. Although, but seriously, at this point I'm just waiting for Zip to fly onto Izzy's horn and impale herself. They really made Zip into Frozone. Okay, I have to admit, the cyber shades are pretty cool. Convention vendors? You know the drill by now. Uh, of course, Zip's sunglasses were under her pillow the entire time. So basically this entire episode was pointless. I think I'm starting to notice a theme with these Tell Your Tale episodes. I like Tell Your Tale guys, I promise. I'm sorry, I didn't like this one. I think the idea of naming a unicorn holiday after a day of the week just to confuse characters is really stupid. Izzy comes off as a bit of an idiot and kind of insane for most of the episode, and not in a good way like Party of One. Also, I really didn't find any of the slapstick with Mr. Butterscotch funny at all. The payoff at the end was really sweet, just like every other episode of Tell Your Tale so far, but honestly, I don't think it was worth it and the whole thing just felt like a waste of time. And for the love of God, Izzy, there are other unicorns in Maritime Bay. Go talk to them instead of making a puppet and terrorizing everybody. Well, at least this is a little bit better. My big problem with the episode is it just felt like nothing happened. Like, at all. And I know these are just five minute videos and they're not meant to be monumental, but come on. The whole everybody chasing each other in the forest scene just really wasn't that funny to me and nothing in this episode made me really feel like it was worth making. What saved this episode from being out and out bad is that once again, the final scene was really sweet and I like the moral that no matter how busy your life gets, you should always try and make some time for your friends. Well, moving up in the world one point at a time, I guess. Once again, Izzy's portrayed as a bit incompetent and maybe even inconsiderate the way she accidentally deletes Pip's video. But the way they all immediately try and cheer her up is really sweet. I also like how it does not immediately work, and I think there's a good lesson in there. Until it does, like, you know, one minute later, but shut up. I just really wish they played a different song at the end. We've all heard that one, Hasbro. It's a banger, but still. Okay, this episode is stupid, but it is so entertaining. We finally get to see Zip being an absolute sass master in an episode that's focused around her and she kills it. Sure, all the fake scenarios she made up in her head about the way her friend stole her sunglasses were stupid, but the actual reveal was actually swerved a bit with Izzy running away when she was accused. And of course, the cyber shades are pretty awesome and highly marketable. Classic Hasbro stuff. It makes sense that Zip would be the star of arguably my favorite Tell Your Tale episode so far. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Amazar, and I will see you guys in the next one.